subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. For it to have a stronger voice at the international level. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate the very apt theme for the summit chosen by the Republic of Turkey. Expanding opportunities through cooperation is in complete harmony with the post-2017 development agenda, visualizing sustainable development as one of the core elements of people-centric development. Indeed, shared and joint prosperity is the only form of secure and sustainable prosperity. Inclusion based on collaboration ensures that there are no losers in the development effort. All are winners. Excellencies, Pakistan assumed the chair of D8 Organization for Economic Cooperation in November 2012 at the 8th summit in Islamabad. The Islamabad summit adopted two landmark documents, the D8 Charter and the Global Vision. These documents have provided the essential basis for our joint endeavors. As chair, Pakistan made every effort to proactively lead the organization towards the realization of its objectives and vision. It was a privilege for us to host the summit meeting, two sessions of the Council, and four sessions of the D8 Commission and a number of sectoral meetings since November 2012. Another significant milestone achieved during this period was the observer status for D8 at the United Nations. This status enables the organization to closely interact with various UN agencies and affiliated institutions for cooperative arrangements in priority areas. The status has also given the D8 an enhanced profile and standing at the international level. Ladies and gentlemen, as we gather here to renew our collective pledge to strengthen mutually beneficial cooperation, we must also take stock of the progress made so far on trade and economic partnership goals we set for ourselves. This summit is a good opportunity for us to identify and remove the impediments in the way of achieving the organization's objectives. Twenty years ago, a shared vision motivated the leaders of our countries to establish this organization to promote cooperation in the key areas of agriculture, industry, SMEs, trade, transportation, energy, and tourism. However, the progress achieved so far falls short of our expectations, necessitating measures to accelerate momentum for a stronger partnership. Excellencies, intra-D8 trade after an initial increase has stagnated. The apprehension is that the target of USD 500 billion in 2018 envisaged in the 2008 Kuala Lumpur summit roadmap might remain elusive. It is therefore important for us to fully implement various instruments and agreements aimed at facilitating trade amongst member states, especially those related to preferential trade, small and medium enterprises, customs, simplification of visa matters, and civil aviation. This would certainly pave the way for substantial increase in intra-DA trade. Sectoral meetings at the ministerial level have already chalked out the roadmaps. Now is the time to start implementation. There may be challenges, but there are also opportunities like never before. While it is imperative for the governments of member countries to facilitate trade and investment by adopting the necessary legal framework for investment protection and creating an enabling environment for business in their respective countries, it is the private sector that can make the best use of emerging opportunities for trade and joint ventures. It is therefore of utmost importance that we also actively promote entrepreneurship in our countries. Ladies and gentlemen, this year Pakistan is celebrating 70 years of its independence. Over the last decade, we were confronted with many challenges. We faced unrelenting terrorism emanating from instability in our neighborhood and the environment in the region and beyond. As a result of a comprehensive strategy and unwavering resolve, Pakistan has successfully turned the tide. Improved security 
has led to economic recovery. Pakistan's economy has recorded a significant revival in the past four years. Over this time, we have focused on upgrading our communications and energy infrastructure and enhancing regional connectivity. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor will further put our economy on an upward trajectory of robust growth. We are also working on energy connectivity projects and Pakistan's integration into the Eurasian Belt and Road Network will provide a firm foundation for Pakistan's rapid economic development. Ladies and gentlemen, connectivity-led growth is a good example of South-South cooperation. We seek similar partnerships with DA member states through road and rail routes possible, but also through stronger air and sea connections. Excellencies, the 20th anniversary of the D8 is an occasion for us to renew our commitment to the accelerated realization of its vision and objectives. As a group, the D8 has vast potential and resources. However, realizing our combined potential and optimizing our collective resources requires cooperation and collaboration amongst us at every level and in every field. Only then will we be able to attain the critical synergy that will bring shared, secure, and sustainable prosperity to our nations. Excellency President Erdogan, I will now avail myself of the privilege and honor of handing over to you the chair of the D8 Organization for Economic Cooperation. Mr. President, I congratulate you on assuming the chair of the D8 Summit. I am confident that your wisdom, sagacity, dynamism, and firm commitment will bring new vigor to the D8 Organization for Economic Cooperation. Mr. Chairman, on behalf of the people and government of Pakistan, I assure you of our full support and cooperation in our collective efforts to achieve tangible results. In Pakistan, you will always find a willing partner and friend. Thank you. Shahid Khakan Abbasi, D8 Sarbra Idlas Se Khitab Kare. Istanbul Me Wazir Azam Shahid Khakan Abbasi, D8 Sarbra Idlas Se Khitab Kare. This Mokhe Par Unhone Kaha Ki Behtreen Intezamat Par Turk Hukumat Ka Shukr Guzar Hoon. Idlas Se Rukn Mumalik Ke Aapas Ke Taawun Ko Farog Milega. Tamam Mumalik Tijarat, Tourism, Energy Mansubo Samet, Digar Shobo Me Bhi Taawun Ko Mazid Bharhani Ki Koshish Kare. Is Se Tamam Mumalik Ko Tarakki Karne Me Madad Sa Milegi. Aage Bharte Hain. Abhi Lenge Ek Break. Iske Baad Shamil Karenge Mazid Khabre.